Okay, for this week's The Friday Mix, I've put together a short video bulletin on fungicide. Well, I expect there's not too much fertilizer tank mixing going on anyway, given the weather. So, I have extracted a couple of slides for you from an article I've, I'm putting together to try and help people select the most appropriate fungicide for the time of year and the prevailing disease pressure. In fact, it seems every time there is a strong episode of disease, I have to respond to customers that have not had good results from the fungicide they are using, either manufacturer products at full rate or indeed tank mixes. Without delving too much into the article, all I can say is fungicides do work, but it is vital to consider timing and modes of action. So on this basis, I'll be taking a quick look at the activity of the fungicides in our MP9 package, as these fungicides cover most angles. But do continue to pay attention to the mode of action and activity in this first slide for further guidance. Indeed, this is an excellent visual representation and I intend to discuss this further in another presentation. But what you can see by using medallion and headway in MP9 is four modes of action. Preventative, curative, protectant and eradicant and broad spectrum systemic translaminar contact claims. So if using in cooler conditions, it would seem appropriate to increase the contact aspect of the mix, the flodioxinil, and reduce the headway, azoxystrobin and propiconazole parts, the translaminar systemic mode of activity. Conversely, in warmer conditions, it would seem logical to decrease the flodioxinil and increase the azoxystrobin and propiconazole, in effect the translamina and systemic fungicide parts, and both approaches are entirely acceptable. Taking this a step further by adding Green Launcher and Go Green Plus to the mix and undertaking a trial at SDRI, we were able to get the following results. As you can see on the left hand side of this bar chart is the percentage of mycodokium patch and before the trial began there was approximately 8 to 12-13% uh, infection on the trial plot. As you can see the control area got much worse as the trial um, progressed whereas the tank mixes and the individual products improved but the overall winner if you like is the tank mix combination of headway and medallion with Go Green Plus and Green Launcher. To sum up, Headway, Medallion, TL and Go Green Plus applied alone halted mycodokin patch development compared to untreated plots, but the initial infection remained as scars and showed little or no sign of recovery. The MP9 tank mix allowed the original infected areas to begin recovery, resulting in optimum turf quality. OK, so this is a two hectare package, but either way, if you intend to adhere to the MP9 rates exactly or alter rates, it is vitally important to take account of the prevailing climatic and ground conditions. OK, that's it for this week on the Turf Channel. Please subscribe, it's free, and keep checking for further bulletins and more in-depth presentations.